Jayla, who's one of the cheerleaders, was talking to the vice principal who was kind of hanging around, I guess, the watering hole, um, asking about that situation. I think that's how that happened. And then she said, basically, you guys are ghetto and unprofessional, um, and then compared them to her cheer coaching days in Spokane and was like, you guys don't cheer like that. You don't, you know, embody the school spirit that we think. And, and that was really like that hurt their feelings really badly like they were like you know Jayla came and told the squad and when I heard that I felt attacked I um that there's a small part of me that's like maybe she didn't mean it in the way that we're thinking but then when she admitted to saying that we were ghetto quote unquote she had like no remorse to it she didn't apologize she still hasn't apologized about it it's just like it hurts Ghetto isn't a term that you call a group that has majority black girls on it. It's downgrading as a person to say that you're basically coming from that when you know that you've came up better than what they're saying that you came up from. And then time went by and Ajne overheard a student threaten to shoot up the school. This kid, whose name is going to remain just <laughs> there, he decided, I asked him if he had headphones because he was playing music that every, the class was irritated by. So. After I asked him for some headphones, he just went off. He said that he was going to shoot up the school. He said that he was going to shoot up my house. He hit the girl I was with, so we went to the office. When we went to the office, the kid left campus, came back onto campus. No one, he wasn't checked or anything. We were told that the office was going to have it in their own hands. Um, day, the next day, I saw him at school. I was like, well, if someone's threatening to shoot up the school, they're not going to be at school the next day. So why is this kid at school? So I went onto Facebook, I made a post about it, blah, blah, blah. And the office got a hold of it. They tried saying that I cyberbullied this kid. That vice principal then submits a complaint to the other vice principal and says she's inciting fear into the student body. She's bullying this child. She used his name, but they went ahead and did an emergency expulsion and then followed that up with a 75 day expulsion. Ultimately, now we've been told it will be overturned, and we're still waiting on that. She had a part in the school play. She had a dance that was a solo, and she missed that because she was suspended. She missed what track tryouts track and ROTC's um, stuff that she had. So she missed this great deal of stuff, and you can't get that back. Even sorry doesn't give back the fact that she missed these experiences. And the reason why I feel like this vice principal came after me is because of the cheer situation, because she knows I am a cheerleader and she knows that I was involved with when she called us ghetto. And I feel as if she was mad, so she kind of targeted towards me and another cheerleader, Jayla. She didn't have a disciplinary history to um, justify the expulsion. There was no prior, Washington state law says that you can't use that as a discretionary punishment. You just can't go from zero to 100 and expel a kid. There has to be some stair-stepped mm -hmm. discipline prior. There was none. Um, and that was why they tried to throw in the other situation was to kind of try to pad that stance and there wasn't there wasn't any so the only thing that we could conclude and ultimately the only thing that the superintendent could conclude was that this was done out of retaliation. It was nice to get um, the letter from the superintendent but the school hasn't said anything to us. If the office that we have in right now is still to continue being as an office I feel like they're gonna target other people other than me I feel like they're going to target other cheerleaders. I feel like they're going to go off and randomly off the hook, start expelling people out of the blue. I would like the school to acknowledge their part in it. I would like acknowledgement from the administration. I don't think that we're going to get that. Um, I think they feel it's sufficient for the superintendent to have said something, but I really don't think that these people in, the, in this role is necessarily a good fit. It's been a terrible experience. It's been depressing, traumatizing. It's scary. This is legitimately scary. It scared the life out of me because I thought that I legitimately did something wrong. And for a while I was convinced that I did do something wrong. But it's just like, it's crazy how much of an effect that the office had on that. You don't ever want to see your kid in that posture where she really believed that like this had, that she was a bad person, like that she had done something wrong. And to have people call you a bully when that's not what you are is really, um, yeah, it's a sense of defeat.